Dark Tales from Alaska. The Kushtaka, Shapeshifters of the Alaskan Waters. In the frozen wilderness of Alaska, where the frigid waters mirror the vast and unforgiving landscape, stories of the Kushtaka are etched into the very fabric of indigenous folklore. These elusive creatures, often depicted as shape shifting otter men, hold a deep significance in their lore. They are more than just mythical beings, they represent the treacherous dangers that lurk in the Alaskan wilderness, a constant reminder of the fragile balance between survival and succumbing to the elements. The air is crisp and biting, carrying with it the aroma of pine trees and snow. As the wind howls across the tundras, whispers of these enigmatic creatures echo through the icy valleys, inviting both fear and fascination for those who dare to venture into this untamed land. The Clinkit people, who have inhabited southeast Alaska for centuries, hold a rich oral tradition of stories about the Kushtaka. These tales are filled with depictions of these mythical creatures as cunning tricksters, their shape-shifting abilities allowing them to manipulate and deceive unsuspecting victims. The chilling descriptions often portray the Kushtaka as alluring beings, capable of luring compassionate souls to watery graves with their cries for help. Other accounts paint an even more unsettling picture, where the Kushtaka takes on the form of a loved one, mimicking their voice and drawing their unknowing kin towards a dark destiny in the depths of the foggy waters. But the Kushtaka's malevolence goes beyond mere trickery. They are said to possess an insatiable hunger, their sharp teeth bared and ready to tear into human flesh. Their eerie cries mimic those in distress, luring unsuspecting victims toward them. Those brave or foolish enough to venture close to the water's edge, especially during the long dark winter months, risk encountering these deadly creatures. Their haunting calls seem all too inviting, but they mask a sinister intent to drag their prey into the depths of the icy waters and devour them whole. Deep in the heart of Alaska, these legends loom large, their haunting warnings echoing through the vast wilderness. They serve as cautionary tales, impressing upon all who listen the crucial importance of respecting the raw power of nature. The sprawling landscape, with its treacherous terrain and ever-changing weather, demands unwavering vigilance and a keen awareness that danger can strike at any moment and in any form. The dense forests and rugged mountains seem to hold secrets, as if whispering ancient tales of those who did not heed nature's warnings. Every step must be taken with care, for even the most experienced travelers know that they are at the mercy of this untamed land. Amidst the turbulent waves and pelting rain, a group of weary fishermen once sought refuge on a desolate island. As night fell and the wind howled fiercely, they huddled around a small fire, their only source of light, warmth, and comfort. But amidst the chaos, they heard the distant cries of a child, carried by the wind from the shoreline. Despite the fear and warnings of his companions, one fisherman could not ignore the call for help. He bravely ventured into the darkness, drawn closer by the desperate pleas. The cries grew louder with each step, leading him further away from safety and deeper into the dark unknown. His comrades waited anxiously, their hearts heavy with worry for his fate. But as the night wore on and his absence stretched longer, their fears turned to dread. With dawn's light came a chilling discovery. Only his footprints remained, leading toward the treacherous waters, a haunting reminder of the Kushtaka's cunning and deadly nature. The legend of the Kushtaka looms over the Alaskan wilderness like a foreboding shadow, a constant reminder that appearances can be deceiving. Hushed stories and whispered tales passed down from generation to generation, a testament to the enduring power of oral tradition. In this unforgiving land, where survival can be a daily struggle, this knowledge was essential for future generations in order to thrive. These mysterious creatures, whether real or merely figments of imagination born from folklore and the harsh realities of life in Alaska, continue to haunt the collective consciousness. Their enigmatic presence adds an unsettling layer of mystery to the already treacherous landscape, 
the legends woven into the very fabric of the land. The Hairy Man of Port Chatham Nestled in the remote Alaskan wilderness, the once bustling fishing village of Port Chatham now stands eerily abandoned. The remnants of old wooden buildings and rusted fishing boats bear witness to the sudden and terrifying exodus that occurred in the 1950s. The townspeople fled in terror from a creature that had become known as the Hairy Man. This was not just some case of superstitious fear driven by unexplained noises. No, the evidence left behind painted a much more sinister picture. Strange tracks in the snow, claw marks on trees, and eerie howls carried on the wind all pointed towards something unimaginable, something that cannot be rationally explained or ignored. Legend has it that the Hairy Man, a creature of immense size and strength with the appearance of a monstrous ape, emerged in the early 20th century. At first, its presence was only whispered about, fleeting sightings of a shadowy hairy figure disappearing into the thick forest surrounding the village. But as time marched on, the encounters grew bolder and more frequent, leading to a string of harrowing events that would forever alter the destiny of Port Chatham. The villagers lived in constant fear, never knowing when or where the hairy man would strike next. Its powerful musk lingered in the air, a warning of its looming presence in the darkness of the woods. The legend of the hairy man became ingrained in their minds, a sinister specter haunting their every move. As the fishermen returned from their halls, they whispered of a mysterious creature known as the Hairy Man. Some claimed to have seen it lurking near their cabins, its eyes glowing with an older worldly intelligence. Tools went missing, food stores were raided, and the once familiar sounds of the forest took on a menacing quality. The rustle of leaves now sounded like a warning, while the howls of animals echoed like a call to arms. But the true terror began when the attack started. Men would wake up in the night to find their homes ransacked and their bodies covered in scratches and bite marks as if they had been attacked by some savage beast. The villagers lived in fear, never knowing when or where the hairy man would strike next. One local fisherman swore he had been stalked through these dense woods, the earth quaking with each heavy footstep of the creature behind him. Another told a harrowing tale of an encounter inside his isolated cabin the creature relentlessly trying to break down the door while the man cowered in terror. But perhaps the most bone-chilling incident was the one that took place at the town's cannery, where workers reported hearing blood-curdling screams and seeing eerie shadows darting past their peripheral vision. Each account only added to the growing fear and mystery surrounding this elusive and dangerous creature lurking in their very midst. The cannery, the beating heart of Port Chatham's economy, was discovered in utter ruin one morning. The once bustling machinery lay smashed and twisted, its metal parts scattered about like the aftermath of a violent storm. Walls that once stood tall and proud were now reduced to rubble, as if they had been viciously clawed and torn apart. The heavy stench of decay hung thick in the air, overpowering any trace of the familiar ocean breeze. It was clear that this destruction was not the work of any natural animal. On the contrary, it was as if some enraged creature had unleashed its fury upon the very symbol of human intrusion into its territory. The scene was a haunting reminder that nature would forever reign supreme over man-made structures and industries. Fearing for their very lives and the tenuous grip on their sanity, the residents of Port Chatham were forced to make the heart-wrenching decision to abandon their homes. Hastily throwing together whatever meager belongings they could carry, they fled in terror from the cursed town, leaving behind a desolate and abandoned ghost town. The mere thought of the hairy man, with his fearsome reputation and chilling presence, was enough to send shivers down their spines and drive them away from everything they had ever known. No longer did the warm glow of lights spill out from the windows or the sound of laughter echo through the streets. Now, only an eerie silence lingered, hanging heavy in the air like a thick fog a constant reminder of the horrors that once lurked within this forsaken place. Today, Port Chatham stands as a haunting reminder of the untamed wilderness that encircles us, the broken and decaying buildings slowly being consumed by nature, serve as a silent testament to the power of fear 
and enduring mystery of the unknown. While skeptics dismiss the legend of the hairy man as mere superstition or even a case of mass hysteria, those who have braved a visit to the abandoned village speak of an unsettling presence felt lurking in the shadows. A thick fog seems to cloak the remnants of this once thriving settlement, adding to the eerie atmosphere that hangs in the air. The legend of the hairy man of Port Chatham serves as a chilling testament that there are still places in the world where nature reigns supreme and where some secrets are best left undisturbed for fear of what may be unleashed. The Black-Eyed Children, Harbingers of Unease at the Doorstep The sprawling, desolate landscape of Alaska is a breeding ground for tales of isolation and the unknown. But amidst the folklore of monstrous creatures and vengeful spirits lies a phenomenon that is particularly chilling. Alaskan Encounters with the Black-Eyed Children Unlike other cryptids that roam these lands, these beings evoke a different type of fear, one that slinks its way into everyday life and turns the familiar into something sinister. The thought alone is enough to send shivers down one's spine, as if the very air in this remote place holds a malevolent secret waiting to be revealed. Accounts of black-eyed children consistently the world over share a similar narrative. People recount coming across one or two children, typically between the ages of 6 and 14, standing motionless at their door. Their tires, often described as outdated or peculiar, adding to the eerie atmosphere. But it's their eyes that truly strike fear into the hearts of witnesses. Utterly black, with no trace of iris or pupil, these eyes seem to penetrate deep into one's being, invoking a primal sense of terror and an instinctual urge to escape. Rarely do these events escalate beyond the initial encounter. These children, with their unnerving appearance, often plead to be led inside. Their eyes are wide and unblinking, their voices lacking genuine distress as they claim to be lost or in need of assistance for their parents. But there is a disturbing determination in their tone, hinting at something more sinister behind the facade. Those who have encountered these beings, myself included, describe a sudden wave of fear that washes over them, a feeling of wrongness that permeates the air. It is as if the very laws of nature are being subtly distorted in their presence, unsettling and disorienting all who come into contact with them. While there is no definitive evidence to explain the black-eyed children phenomenon, theories abound. Some speculate that they are extraterrestrial beings, their unusual appearance a result of their alien physiology. Others believe them to be demonic entities, their black eyes windows into the abyss. And still others suggest that they are simply children suffering from a rare medical condition that affects their eye pigmentation, their unsettling appearance a result of misinterpretation and fear. The Black-Eyed Children whether real or simply a figment of our imaginations, tap into a primal fear that resides within all of us, the fear of the unknown. Their sudden appearance, often at the threshold of our very homes, shatters the illusion of safety and security that we have built around ourselves. In that moment, we are reminded that even in the most familiar of surroundings, there are forces beyond our understanding that can inspire terror. The stories surrounding these mysterious beings serve as a chilling reminder that some mysteries are best left unsolved, and that sometimes the most unsettling encounters are those that defy rational explanation. They lurk in the shadows, their black eyes glistening, leaving us to wonder what sinister intentions they may have toward us. In their presence, we are forced to confront the limits of our knowledge and face the uncomfortable truth that there are strange things in this world that cannot be explained or controlled. Well, friends, there you have it. What do you think of these dark tales from the state of Alaska? I look forward to your comments, but please be friendly and respectful. Until we meet again, be good to yourselves and each other. Stay safe out there. As for me, I'll see you a little further on down the road. I'm Steve Stockton, 
and I'll talk to you next time. And please, tell your animals I said hi. Hi.